more pictures. Right. Mm. I only have one more left, so... Mm. Are there any more baby animals left? You've taken me? thousands of pictures. I think we can go home. Now. But they're so cute. Oh. I see nothing cute about a cage full of rats. <laughs> oh, I think every baby animal is so cute. Uh-huh. You were probably cute when you were a baby, too. Oh, I was adorable. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? What? I think that kiss deserves an ice cream. Here. Um, I'd like some change back, thank you. All right. Okay. I feel stupid now. How so? Well, I don't feel like we're being watched anymore. Well, you say that's because you feel secure under the strong arm of the law. Is that it? Mm-hmm. You did feel like that this morning, I mean. Because Jerome has no reason not to believe I'm completely on his side, right? Right. Defense the diamond, therefore you pass his test. But I think you're forgetting something. What? You're the one that told me about Jerome's daughter and the fact that she's the monster of the mob. Maybe she's trying to find some dirt to turn Daddy against you. I don't think so. Um, not since you found out we're having a baby, anyway. I won't be around to compete for any position in the mob. Regardless, keep your guard up. Mm. Your tea, sir. Yes. Ooh, Now, I wonder what we can spend this on. How about a pizza for supper? Sounds good. You at least owe me an apology. I think you owe me an explanation. You wouldn't believe me. You didn't believe I was pregnant. Okay, so what do you intend to do? I'm going to have a baby, like I told you. I'm going to raise it, and I don't need your help or advice for either one. What about your father? What about him? What's he going to say when he hears his unmarried daughter is pregnant? Do I think he's going to ask who the father is? All you care about is yourself. Go back to Port Charles and take care of Anna and her baby. I'll handle my father and his reaction. When the time is right, I will tell him. Don't worry, I won't implicate you. And what about the child? The child needs a father. I'll be a mother and a father to my baby. Don't worry for a minute about me. I can take care of myself and the child. I need some time to think about this whole bloody mess. Fine. I'm going home. Fine. still available. Good, I thought it would be. Yes, this would be a good time for me to come and see it. My husband, no, he won't be able to come with me. I'll make the decision for the two of us. Yes, I'll be right there. My staff will be more than happy to help you find something. Well, that won't be necessary, because I'm not here to buy anything. I'm here to sell you something. Is she still sleeping? Yes. Yeah. One afternoon, it's been a big day. <laughs> so tell me about your big weekend. Well, there's not a whole lot to tell. We're just going away together as friends. Um, I guess we'll get to know each other better. And maybe become more than just friends. Well, I think maybe we'd better just take it one step at a time. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Do you want me to watch out for Barbara Jean? Oh, thanks, Felicia. No, I think I'm going to call Charlene. She came by to visit today, and she said she's very lonely for her, and I know oh. she loves her, and PJ feels very comfortable with her. Well, it's obvious she's very good with children. Look how Colton turned out. <laughs> well, I better go call Charlene. It'd be a shame if she made other plans. Can I leave BJ here with you until oh, she finishes her nap? Absolutely nobody interrupts my niece's nap time. Okay, and then maybe Charlene, you just pick her up here, or I'll come and get her before I drink. Okay, okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. I was afraid I wasn't going to see you today. 
Well, I thought you'd be getting sick of me hanging around here by now. Oh, are you kidding? Even if you are kidding, you know how much you mean to me. How are you? I'm fine. No, you're not. Something's wrong. No, not really. Nothing to worry about. What's the matter? I wish I knew. Something in my head. Something's not right. I really don't know what to do about it. Well, I finally got dinner in the oven. What are you doing? Training for the marathon? That's not funny. Well, I didn't mean for it to be funny. You know, the last time I saw something pace up and down like that, it had orange and black stripes on it, and the zookeeper was giving it red meat. I've got a problem, okay? Well, sugar, I know you've got a problem. Now, when Tony comes back into town, you and I'll sit down. How many times food. do I have to tell you, Tony is not my most pressing problem here? And hey, now, wait a minute, sugar. I'm your... I, I'm not your enemy. I, I'm your family. Now, there's only two of us, and when one of us has got the problem, then the whole family's got it. Now, let, let me help you. I don't want your help, Aunt yeah, Charlene. I'm going to solve this little problem one way or another by tomorrow. Look, I'm going to go soak in a nice, hot bath. Oh, and you stay off the phone. Don't even think about calling Lila Quartermain and talking about all your stupid recipes. I am waiting for a call. I am waiting for a call. Charlene, Bobby Meyer. Oh, uh, is anything wrong with CJ? Oh, no, she's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to have to forgive me. I really am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I am calling about BJ. I have a favor to ask you, and you did say that I could call you. Do you have time to talk? Well, do I have time to talk? What's on your mind? This is very, very nice stuff. Except this one. I don't know. It's a little... I bet it's expensive, though. Would you tell me what you want? Well, you see, the thing is, I got this friend investigating this murder. Apparently, some guy got whacked over the head in this hotel. Poor Charles. His name was Butcher. What could that possibly have to do with me? Hey, don't get tense. You can talk to me. I'm not the law. As a matter of fact, I have a certain disdain for cops because they're always jumping to conclusions. For example, what do you think they would do if they saw this picture? Where did you get that? Well, that's not really important. The point is that I figure you know a lot about pictures. So I come in here and I'm looking around. Now, if I wanted to sell this picture, you could tell me exactly what it was worth, considering who you are, Friendship with Duke Lavery and your association with the butcher. Ten thousand dollars. You know, when I walked in here, I said to myself, "This is a woman with class." This is this good stuff. Besides, you're crazy. Yeah, you're you're crazy. Yeah, you're eating this. You're safe for now. Look, Stu Lovebird, just like the one we saw in the store. You buy them for me? No, no, I didn't. Somebody had to. They were a present. Well, what did you get? Presents? Didn't I'm The sales lady told us that we couldn't buy them. I love to love them. Ah, look, there's got to be a card somewhere, I see it. There is, yes. Yes, okay. Um, why don't we go inside and do all of this, hmm? All right. Grab all your stuff there. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Hmm? Yeah, strong, beautiful. Did, did you? Uh-huh. Oh, fancy that. I even said it. I know. Here we go. Very odd. What is love? Well, there's no signature on this. What's it say? It says to love and happiness and all that will be, but no signature. Look, can I land somewhere with it? Yeah, put, put it there. Put it on the newspaper, please. Must have sent them, but he didn't know that she liked them so much. She wasn't with us at the department store. 
Well, maybe he dropped by the store later and uh, talked to the clerk, and the clerk mentioned the problem, and he struck up a deal. Maybe. Well, then, why don't you go and get some plates for the uh, pizza, darling? Huh? All right. Well, bye, little birdie. No, he's still here. Yes. Do you really think that he sent them? Well, I can't think who else did. He must have dropped them off when he got back from New York. Where is he now? Oh, he's at the club. I'll call him. Never seen you so quiet. Maybe that's because I'm thinking about what a fraud I am. I don't like it when you talk like that. I can't help it. That's the way I feel. I don't believe that. I know it's true. I was just thinking about my show and everything that I keep telling people. It's just, it's double talk. People keep tuning in, they keep buying everything I say. Because it means something to them. Mm, or they think it means something. How can you say that? Everything that you say, you always believe in. So how can that be wrong? I don't know. I just don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking. I used to know what I was talking about. I never pretended to be any big thinker and... I stuck to topics that I thought I knew something about. I talked about things I believed in. I'm just not sure what I believe in anymore. What's happened to you? Why don't you believe in yourself anymore? That's the crazy part. I mean, I don't know why. It's just, my mind, it's like a, a jigsaw puzzle, you know, and all the pieces are mixed up, and I, I can't put anything together. And there's something else. What? There's something, there's something bad inside of me. Bad? I'm trying to come onto the surface. You know, there's nothing bad inside of you. Yeah, but there is. And I feel like if I, if I let up, if I relax for a minute, it's going to take over. Colton, you have to be the most kindest, gentlest, the most caring man that I've ever met. It's probably just a delayed reaction to everything that we've been through. Delayed stress. And the bombings and the, and the kidnapping and, and the shooting. Oh, Colton. Please trust my, my trust in you. Rely on that like I relied on you. Please. Yeah, I have heard all day. A toast. 